All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be a installation of Windows tutorial video. Um, not going to be installing Windows in this video. I'll state that right now. But I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows on a laptop, pretty much, that doesn't have a CD drive uh, for Windows Vista and 7. It can't be XP because XP has a different boot module, so this won't work for XP. It only because XP has the 2000 boot module. The only thing that uh, is going to work for it is Windows Vista and Windows 7, and when Windows 8 comes out, it's going to be using the Vista boot thing. So don't worry about that. So first thing, you're going to need one thing and one thing only, a 4 gig flash memory card like this, uh, or higher. You can't have lower than 4, and plus it depends on what operating system you're going to be loading onto this in order to boot. But um, so what you're going to do is just plug that into your laptop real quick. <clears throat> and uh, go to start and computer and you want to locate your drives so you got the um, it's removable disk G right now as you can see and uh, your DVD rewrite drive is going to be F so uh, then I, or, well just remember that for now you're going to look at it later so minimize that for now now I'm going to be using Windows 7 starter the DVD Windows 7 starter here and um, we're going to use that to copy over and make bootable on the USB drive. So pop that into your CD drive on, on another computer or a laptop or whatever and let that load. Now what I'm going to want you to do is go to start and go to the search programs and search CMD and you're going to hit control, alt, and enter. Ooh. Ooh. Not control, alt, enter, my bad. C and D, um, control shift enter, I think. Yeah, hit control shift and enter at the same time, and it's going to ask you to run it as an administrator. So click yes, and your CMD is going to come up. Now, to be sure that the disk is loaded, go to your computer and you will see DVD rewrite drive, blah, 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 there it is. So leave that there like that. Make sure your USB port is plugged in and make sure everything else is plugged in. And now we're going to proceed with the steps. Okay? So, first thing you're going to want to type is disk part. So, D I S K P A R T. And it's going to load up the disk part module in the DOS slash CMD command prompt. <clears throat> now you're going to want to write list disk. So, L I S T. DISK, make sure you space DISK, list disk, and you're going to look for your removable drive, which were, for my case it's disk 2, it says it's online, and it's 3854 megabytes. So now select disk 2. Disk 2 is now selected. So once you do that, now you're going to type clean. This is going to clean it out. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. And now after you do clean, you're going to want to create a partition. So C-R-E-A-T-E-P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N. And make it primary. M-A-R-Y. So create partition primary. Hit enter. Succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now you're going to hit select. You're going to type select partition 1. Partition 1 is now selected, and now you're going to make it active, C-T-I-V-E, so A-C-T-I-V-E, make it active, mark, um, mark it active, and now you're going to format it. So you're going to type F-O-R-M-A-T, format, space, F-S, equals N-T-F-S, hit enter, and it's going to start the formatting procedure. Now this is going to be the format on your USB flash drive. So allow that to format. It's going to take a few minutes because it's going to do a full format, not a quick format. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause this real quick so you don't have to watch this. And uh, I'll be right back after the format has been complete. All right. So now that your format is finally completed, what you're going to want to do now is type a sign. A-S-S-I. It would help if I clicked the side command prompt. A-S-S-I-G-N. 
Type assign, hit enter. It's going to assign the drive letter to the point. Now type exit. And it's going to exit this part and it will go back to C colon Windows System 32. So your commands are going to come from. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your CD in the drive if you haven't already, which is why I put mine in, in the beginning. Now, like I said, we're going to be using Windows 7 for this, and it only works for Windows Vista 7 and Windows 8 when it comes out. It does not work for XP or anything lower than that. You're going to need to use a different command uh, setup in order to make a boot CD for, or a boot flash drive for XP or Windows 2000 or whatever the fuck else you want to use. So, here we go. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your folder here, which I told you to pull up, which is basically your computer, your route folder, and you want to locate your disk drive. As you can see, mine is F colon, but whatever letter that you have for that is going to depend on what you do. And now you can see that this is now called removable disk D. It's not G anymore. You see how that changed? That's why I that's why I told you to leave this up so we can see what's going on, you know? Alright, so seeing that the disk drive is the letter F, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to write capital F and then a colon and space and CD boot in all capital letters because we're back in regular command prompt now so you have to be um, <coughs> case sensitive with what you type. So hit enter and it's going to show you the F colon slash parameter. You know? Alright. So now what you're going to want to do is type CD and then space boot. Type that. It's going to read the disk and it's going to locate the boot file that we're looking for. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to run a write B-O-O-T S-E-C How do you spell that? S-E-C What the fuck? Yeah. Boot sec dot exe in all caps then hit space and the slash and then the nt60 nt60 just like that <coughs> and um, then hit space and then you're going to take your drive letter which is d so in this case it's going to be d but whatever yours is and then hit d and then the colon and hit enter and it's, it's going to copy. And it'll say target volume will be updated with the boot manager compatible boot volumes, blah, blah, blah. Sex successfully updated NTFS file system boot code. Boot code was success successfully updated on all target volumes. There's that. Now, type exit. And it's going to close down command prompt. Now, if you go to your removal drive, right? Let's go click on it real quick. If it fucking let me. You're going to see that it's empty. That's totally normal. The boot manager that was just copied over to this is like a fucking top secret file. Okay? You're not supposed to be able to see it. So now you want to open up a computer and you want to go to the disk drive here. So open that up. And you're going to see all these files. Click the boot, hit control. And I'll hit shift, select all the files, right? So select all the files on that disk, and what you're going to do is just drag and drop and copy them over to your removable drive. <clears throat> so let that do that. I forget how big it is, but it's going to take a little while, I think. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I'm going to go over here and pause that because I know people don't like waiting. So when this is done copying, I'll be right back. Alright, so now that that's all done copying over, you can see that I have all the files on my flash drive. <clears throat> so let's recap. We put the disk in the drive. You got your 4 gig or higher USB drive. We opened up command prop. We did the disk part. We formatted it. We assigned a partition. It's formatted to NTFS. We copied the boot module over through the, um, the CD boot and copied all the files needed and then just copied all the files here. Now all you got to do is exit and you can unplug that. And now you just plug this into whatever laptop you want to install Windows 7 Starter or Windows Vista or whatever Windows you copied over onto it. You plug that into the computer 
and uh, there you go. You just go into, you turn your computer on, go to your boot menu, or go into your setup and manage your boot preferences, and make sure it boots to this first, and then you're all set. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Hope it works for you. If you got any questions, please ask. I'll help you through it as best as I can. And like always, have a wonderful day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my website, Software Reborn. This video and the tutorial will be there as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm also going to write up a text document with written directions for you to download there as well. Just in case you want a more described way to do it. Um, so that's pretty much it. So, enjoy it, and I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.